Hey there, it's Eugenio Sabo here, and today I actually wanted to share a topic that is actually quite interesting for everyone, and it's something that many people struggle in the online space. And this is how on earth can you scale your online store in 2023? So before we dive straight into this, you might be wondering, who on earth is this guy, and why should I actually listen to him? Well, I'm Eugenio Sabo, and I'm the CEO and founder of Voico Incubator. If you're an e-commerce store making anywhere between 20 to 50K per month, and you would like to add an extra 30 to 100K in the next six to nine months, feel free to click the link in the description so we can have a chat and really determine if we think we're a good fit for what you do. And if that's the case, we'll let you know how. So you probably have an e-commerce store, an online store, if you're actually watching this, and you might be wondering, okay, so you add all this revenue to your clients. How on earth do you do this? Well, this is, a bit of a tricky question in a sense, because like with e-commerce, there are no, you're not going to find two brands that are identical. Each brand is a complete different. The reason for this is because like we might sell very similar products. Let's say we both sell this t-shirt, for example. But the truth is that your target audience will rarely be the same target audience I have. This means that at the end of the day, you really need to adapt your strategy to your target audience. And you don't really have to copy what your competitors are really doing. You really need to build your own strategy to build a successful online store. So what do you really need to have a successful online store that generates revenue and basically helps you to scale your brand consistently over time? Building an online store is, isn't easy, but it's not impo like an impossible task. But you need to focus on the following things. First of all, you're gonna need to build that insane offer. And an offer is not a great service, a great product. Obviously, that's also part of the equation. But like your offer is how do your target audience perceive your product or your service? And many times, this is not only focused on the product. It's also on the story behind that product. Therefore, building a consistent offer is such an important task nowadays. Once you have that good offer, you need like people really willing to get in your door and purchase your product. That means that you need qualified traffic. So you've got the offer, you've got the traffic, but unfortunately, nowadays, traffic and a sale are very far away. So there's one thing that joins everything that, and basically gets all this together, and this is a consistent sales funnel. A sales funnel, you've probably heard it a million times, but honestly, this is so extremely important to have a consistent and solid sales funnel within your brand. So what does a good sales funnel really have? Well, first of all, what is a sales funnel? Well, a sales funnel is basically building a customer journey for your leads and taking them throughout all this whole process where they basically go from complete strangers up to someone that has actually purchased a product. And basically the main goal throughout all this process is generate as much confidence as possible. And depending on your product, you might also have to educate the end user on why is your product or service a solution for their problems. Therefore, once you have this great traffic, a sales funnel, and that offer, you're just missing one main thing, which is a high converting landing page. And this is honestly such an important component because the truth is, whichever source of traffic you choose, either if it's organic, paid traffic, ads, social media, influencers, whichever channel you choose, the truth is that they're not really gonna buy from your ad or your initial touch point. They're gonna buy from your website. So you have to basically treat that ad or that initial touch point as a first date. But the place where you can really ask for marriage is when they've actually landed on your website. Therefore, it's extremely important that you really optimize your website so you can build as much trust and confidence on the end user as possible for them to actually pull the trigger and purchase that product. Because at the end of the day, if you don't generate enough confidence on your website, you're gonna bring them throughout all this whole process so they drop off in the last step. And this is such a big issue. Many times I see big brands, even some of our clients have had this error in the past, where they just try to scale and scale and scale, which is obviously great. But sometimes you need to focus, okay, what is my system up to this point? How am I actually driving customers? And which are the leaks of this process? because you really don't want to spend tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on a system that's leaky at some point. Mm -hmm. And what we found, especially with our clients, at the end of the day, we have a very clear vision of, of how the perfect sales funnel is going to be for them. Mm -hmm. 
But one of the main bottlenecks we find is the website because their conversion rate is very low and it's actually hard. So we need to go and focus on conversion rate optimization. But once you've got all of this, basically you've built a successful funnel because you've got that source of traffic, you've got that good offer, and you've got that funnel that basically links everything together, gets them on a high converting landing page and makes a sale. Once you've got this, your next headache is gonna be how on earth can I scale this? So to scale this, you really need to see, okay, am I able to scale this on this channel? Probably you will have to start to diversify. Once you start making anywhere between 10 to 50 grand per month with your online store, or even earlier, you really need to diversify your revenue. It cannot just depend on one channel. You basically need to get this approach and do this for each channel where you really want to market your product. This way is the only way to really build a successful online store. And it's, you can say it pretty easy, but when you get onto work, it might seem a bit complex, but honestly, it's not as complex as it seems because you need to build a sales funnel, a high converting landing page, and a good offer. That will literally give you a high converting online store. And that's the only way to really scale an online brand in 2023. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'm really looking forward to see you more on this channel. So have an amazing day and see you soon. Bye-bye.